Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Christmas Nights. And we've done Clarence's level, we're gonna do Elliot's level, which is what I've been playing a lot. I don't know why, um, I've been trying to, when I, getting items for Elliot, uh, or getting the items I've been playing Elliot's levels. So, but it's the same Spring Valley, the ideal. Uh, for the next video, there probably won't be any talking. It'll probably be just lots of edits showing off the different things, uh, time-related. And then the last video, there will be, uh... Well, Elliot's level is different, I will say that. So, the levels are slightly different. It's not entirely the same, as far as layouts go. So, it's, they, they did change it up a little bit. Not a lot, really, though. And I've already kind of screwed that up by not getting that one. However, the little Nightopians sing Christmas carols, which I think is kind of cute. I mean, everything about this game is actually, like, really cute. Like, for being a demo, this was a very nice demo, and... Kind of odd that it's Christmas themed. Not what I would have imagined out of a a demo for nights. Because I mean, I don't I don't really think of Christmas when I think of nights, except for now Christmas nights. But if you talked to me before that, that's not something I would have uh, I would have linked in my mind. And just. Continue. I just, I do this. I go through the level rid a ridiculous number of times. It helps get the score up, especially after once you get the idea. Hey, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Aren't you people happy? Uh, anyway. I got a lot of flack when I played, uh, uh, the original Knights for how I pronounced idea. I pronounced it idea. And they're, no, no, you have to pronounce it properly. It's pronounced... Egregious. Uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean joke. Um, I'm not even sure what they're talking about, but I found it hilarious. And my humor obviously only really affects me, so. And see, the level's the same, it's just the placement of things is slightly different. So, yeah. But I had a lot of when I when I first bought this, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be interesting. It's uh, it's Christmas themed, and I wondered why this went for such an insane price. I just I I couldn't wrap my head around it. And then I got it, and I started playing it. Like this is. This is Christmas and I can't. Like, I started playing it during the summer, I think is when I got it. I'm like, this is this is holiday spirit in a can. This is like watching a Charlie Brown Christmas any time of year. Uh, and this is one of my now uh, recurring Christmas traditions. Or holiday traditions, I should say. Uh, I have... I have two big traditions during the holidays that I, I adhere to. Um, I, I was stuck. What the hell? Uh, those traditions are I will always play through Chrono Trigger. Uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I will always play through Chrono Trigger. I may cheat a little bit and go for, you know, one of the quicker endings, but I will always sit down, turn it on, and start up a game uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, that started when I was younger. Uh, I got sick during the holidays, uh, right after uh, Thanksgiving, I think. Uh, and I was basically just hanging out in bed the entire time. I didn't have much energy, didn't have much, uh, 
ability to do anything coherent, so I just sat and I played Chrono Trigger all the way through for really the first time that I played it all the way through. Uh, I borrowed an SNES from a friend of mine. This is well back before I, I owned the game in any format on my own. And played through it. Uh, I didn't use a guide, I didn't ask for help, I just did what I could to play through the game and finally enjoy the masterpiece that was Chrono Trigger. And that has since become a tradition. And now this is a new one. I will sit and play Night or Christmas Nights into Dreams at least once during the holiday season. So, yeah. Yay for, for new traditions that come from gaming. And I'm getting all A's on this. This is... I missed one of those. I need that. And I missed more. There we go. I like how the little launchers are turned into party crackers. I don't know what they're actually called, but the little... Uh, confetti shooter type things. That seems to be a big hidden uh, Japanese culture. I've... They're not really all that popular here in the U.S., but uh, uh, they seem to be very popular in Japan, which I find very interesting. Whee! I love killing those things. That's something to say during the holidays. I love killing the bad guys, yeah. That's actually one thing that I've, I've always found very fascinating about Knights. It's not a traditional game where the goal is to beat the bad guy. The goal is to get back what was taken from you. I don't know. I'm... I'm just kind of rambling. I'm just trying to get into the Christmas spirit. Enjoy the holidays. But, you know... This time of year, it's... It's it's either really easy or really hard to do that, depending on... Your mindset. All A's! Holy crap! I didn't do all that well the first time. I'm doing much better this time. So... And still fighting Gilwing. There is one more boss to this game that's not Gilwing, um, but we'll see him in the fourth video. So yeah, look forward to that because I am. It's fun. <laughs> and. I do love the kind of Christmas remix of the night theme and the battle theme, because this is just a very interesting remix of, of music. So. One point four is really all I can do. I can't seem to beat the boss any faster to get anything higher. But now that we've completed both, we get the ending, so I'm going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy the, uh, the ending cinematic. With the help of knights, Elliot and Claris found the star, shining in seven colors. But the entire story was a dream. So, what was that star? They don't talk about the dream they saw. But there is one thing both of them know. Something special will happen after they embark on an adventure with knights. They start feeling cheerful again. 
are you okay? And now, happiness, like the light of a small candle, starts filling the city once again. Everything is okay now. Give a star of happiness to the heart of these brave children. Give a star of happiness to the heart of everyone. Merry Christmas! And that is the the end of Christmas nights. That's the game. It's like I said. It's just two levels. It's a little bit of a just a very little story. Just you know, holiday cheer. Uh, and with that, all I want to say is whatever whatever th happens this holiday season uh, that's negative. Just try to fo focus on the positive. Uh, it's time of year to reflect on friends, family, loved ones, and the, the positives in one's life. Don't dwell on the negatives. Uh, I'm certainly not. I've, I've had a little bit of negativity right at the end of the year, but I'm going to focus on the positive, and I'm going to keep going. And I, I really say for the rest of you, do the same. Just focus on the positive. There's always something positive in life. Uh, and that's enough of me preaching, so I'm going to say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, uh, Happy Solstice, uh, Saturnalia, uh, Giftmas, Festivus for the rest of us, whatever holiday you happen to observe this time of year, I hope it is filled with light and uh, happiness, friends and family and loved ones for you to share it with. And with that, this has been Marauder X. I will see you in the other parts. Um, till then, later, everyone. There's nowhere I'd rather be but here with you. The stars above light the way only for you and I. I'm so glad I found the one I've been looking for. Keep the dream of the world To find the one, find the way in the night. In the light, I want to see you standing there in the night. Someone who really cares in the night, Jane Delight. I want to see you smile again in the night.